Hello my traveling peeps, this is Kat aka Kakibot and I make videos about travel and life in Edinburgh and Scotland and today we are not in Edinburgh, we are in Fife and we are exploring along the Fife coastal path which if you didn't know about it before it is about 180 kilometers long and we are not gonna travel that distance or you know we're not gonna track that distance but you can it takes about a week and you can walk all around Fife and enjoy the beautiful coast of it however the nice thing about the Fife coastal path is that you can really pick just like a tiny bit of it and we chose the route from Crail to St Monans and um, that's probably like the most known bit that's the one with all the beautiful fishing villages and we are taking you with us to show you some of the highlights we've never been before so this is kind of a more of a uh, experiment exploration sort of thing uh, we started um, being attacked by bees we started a little bit beyond Crail. Uh, this is the Cambo Estate and Walled Garden. Well, this specifically is the Walled Garden. If you pay 650 per person, I believe, uh, you can explore this really kind of detail-oriented, amazing garden. Like, I just love visiting these places here around Scotland. There's so many bees and beautiful meadow flowers. And um, if you're that sort of romantic soul, you will love it here. Plus, it's a really great pit stop. If you just drove from Edinburgh, then like this is a place that has a bathroom, has a coffee shop you know you can grab lunch which is what we did and now we're gonna go and uh, explore further I think next stop is gonna be Crail so Crail was our first stop and it was possibly one of my favorites on this trip it was very quiet and picturesque and filled with these tiny little winding roads and cutesy houses and <laughs> this ubiquitous bunting I loved it most of the buildings are from 17th to 19th century and are very well taken care of by the National Trust of Scotland. When you're visiting Crail, you can check out their town museum, which is supposed to be open daily in the summer. And you can also pop into one of their adorable coffee shops and obviously don't forget to take a lot of pictures. It's also a great place to pick up souvenirs from your trip. Uh, we popped into the Crail Pottery Store and Workshop and absolutely loved it. I think their work would make great gifts for your family and friends. And if you're lucky, you might even meet their little shop cat. We weren't lucky though. I would also recommend getting a beautiful fresh lobster and eat it in the harbor and finish off with a scoop of ice cream. We were freshly after a light lunch, so unfortunately we missed out on the seafood, but from what I've seen on other people's tables, it was a meal you should not miss. And Strother is probably the most popular fishing village on this part of Fife Trail. As you'll be able to see, it was much busier than any of the other spots. There are several reasons for it, one being that it's the location of one of Scotland's best, if not the best, chippies. The queue was pretty insane though, so um, yeah, I guess it must be good. You can also jump on a boat taking you around the Isle of May here, and you can also see Reaper, a fishing boat that apparently had a little cameo in the Outlander series. If you're into historical fishing, they even have a whole museum dedicated to that here. My little tiny highlight was finding this cute little cider shop, which stocked so many kinds of cider, including my favorite dry French cider from all around the world. Another great spot to pick up a souvenir. In Pittenweem, which by the way has the best name, it kinda sounds like Halloween, things got a lot quieter again. If you didn't make it to any of the chippies in Anstruther, uh, you can just save it for here because it's much emptier and quieter and calmer.
One thing I wouldn't miss here was uh, St. Philan's Cave, which is super close to the harbor. It's a great place to take pictures and you can even borrow the keys from the local gallery and have a little explore. And as a bonus, Pitch and Weem also has a cool little antique shop, which is open Wednesday to Sunday until 5 p.m. Our official last stop was St. Monans. This place didn't feel touristy at all, but it might have been simply because it was getting late in the day. We explored around the harbour, found the adorable Wellington Boot Garden, and ventured a tiny bit beyond the town to see the local church, St. Monan's Kirk, which is surrounded by an old cemetery and has beautiful views of the coastline. And then before we headed almost home, or more like to shoot the outro, we had a tiny pit stop in Ely, a good place to pop into ship in for a pint and then bathroom break. Whee! And as you can maybe tell by my majestic background, we are now in North Queen's Ferry, which is still in Fife. And actually, I think that if you were taking the Fife coastal route, you might either end or start here, because this is kind of like the start of the coast of Fife. Anyway, that's not what we did, but we thought we would stop by here because it's just so pretty. And I've never been here. It's such a nice view, such a beautiful view. Surprisingly, you don't get to see any of Edinburgh from here because they're like so low, but I think that it's really worth it because this bridge is freaking beautiful. Anyway, I'm getting distracted by bridges. I wanted to say we had a great time today, but please learn from my mistakes and leave Edinburgh a whole lot earlier than we did. We left kind of like pre-noon because I thought, well, this is not like a super huge trip. We're going to be fine. And then I constantly felt like we didn't have time to do the things I kind of fancy doing in the single places that we visited. So yeah, uh, give yourself some extra time if you're driving and you're going to be just fine. Yeah, as much as these are beautiful, like on their own, I think that if you're coming from Edinburgh, don't just visit one of these places, visit at least the four or four and a half or four and a half and Cambo. Cambo is a great name. Camera Rambo, that's Simon. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to say. Um, I'd love to hear from you if uh, you've ever been and you've ever done this route. Actually, I know that some of you did because I met some of you <laughs> today. I met some, some viewers today during our travel, not in one of these villages, but two. And it was actually really sweet. Before I go, uh, don't forget to visit me on Instagram, on Kaki Bot and Kaki Blog. Maybe there's going to be some pictures on Kaki Blog from this little trip. And on Kaki Bot, I generally kind of update you on when there's new designs for my Etsy shop. Um, visit my Etsy shop as well. There's a link in the doobly-doo. I make mostly Scottish themed things. So I'm assuming if you made it all the way until the end of this video, then you're very deeply interested in Scotland. So I think that you are basically my target audience for the stuff I make, you know, enamel pins and stickers and stuff like that. You're gonna love it, I promise. Okay, I think that is it for today. Uh, I am very tired very hungry but so happy that you got to join me and you made it all the way up until the end and i shall see you soon